Hello everyone, Neophys here, and welcome back to Neophys playing Minecraft, and this is episode 26, and in this episode, my fiendish plan is to do some trading with the villagers. I haven't traded with these guys at all, I've taken a look at them to see what they'd like to trade, and I found a few candidates that are trading things that I have, so I've sort of uh, locked them into place using glass blocks so they can't get away, and I don't have to chase them all over the place to trade with them. I think I got one in here too. Nope. <laughs> no, I don't have one in there, but I know I have one over here. So here we've got uh, a lady that wants to trade me for wheat. And I've got this lady here that wants to trade wool with me. And I have this lady here, the butcher, that wants to trade me for some raw pork. And... I have here the blacksmith that wants to trade me for coal and I checked this out and the this the blacksmith will not only trade you for coal but will trade you for charcoal and charcoal is something that I have an endless supply of because of my wood farm so here I have all the different things that they could trade me for so let's uh, go and try a few of these guys out I'm going to grab a couple stacks of each and go out and trade with them. So I'll get the butcher here first and we'll see how much we can get out of her before she says no more. Oh, looks like she was going to trade me for more than I thought there. And so now she's upgrading to something else. So she won't trade me for any more raw pork. But now she wants to trade me for some steak. So let's give her one and we'll trade for the steak and see if the next trade is something more favorable to. The whole idea here is to get enough gems to go to that other village and trade up for enough eyes of ender. Okay, so let's grab some more pork. We don't have that much pork, but we'll trade all the pork we've got. Mm-hmm, yeah. I'm going to trade for all the pork we've got and see how much we can get out of her. No, that's it. So, so what's the next thing you want to trade me for? I didn't see the particles there, but I think something would have happened because I can't trade for any more pork. Oh, right, I got a... Uh, I did trade for the beef. Oh, now she wants three for this leather cap. Okay, well, let's pass on that. We'll come back to that if we ha actually have to in order to uh, uh, get more pork trading. But like I said, I don't have that much pork to trade, so we'll wait on that one. So let's go see this other person out here. The blacksmith. He has a coal trade for me. Well, I better grab more coal just to make sure I've got enough. And out at that other village, the uh, villager there would trade me one Eye of Ender for every ten emeralds. But I get the feeling that as you trade with them more, they like you more and more and they give you better trades. So, mm-hmm, that's right. <laughs> and then you can, uh, you, you, you you'll ha won't have to, you know, pay as much to get a, a good trade out of them again, right? Okay, so... This guy's happy. When you see those arrows going up, that means they're they're happier with you. They like you more. Oh my goodness, though. Seven emeralds for a diamond hoe. Okay, well, let's pass on that for now and try another one of these guys. So what do we got? We got 18 emeralds here. So go check out uh, this guy here. And she... Oh, I only got two hays. Let's grab some more hay. Yeah, we'll go see that lady with the wool in a minute. Let's put back this stuff, and I guess we didn't need as much of this either, so we'll put this back too, and we'll grab uh, the rest of the hay, and go trade the hay now. Okay, let's trade for some hay here. Mm-hmm, yep. Ooh, we 
we're gonna get much more. No, that's it. Okay, so what's next then, lady? Arrows up, yeah, that's a good thing. I'm not getting the other sparkly particles, but I don't care. Oh, one for 11 arrows. Well, you know, that's worth getting the change. So let's try that. Oops, hey, I didn't mean to throw the rest of them at you though. Oh, that didn't fly. Okay, I guess it's because I didn't take the arrows. Okay, there we go. There. How's that? Are you happier now? You look happier. Still 20. And what was the next trade? Oh, there isn't a next trade. Okay. Well, let's go back to there and we'll trade the rest of our hay, I guess. Or at least as much as we can trade. That's the limit again. Jeez, you don't get a lot of trades out of them before they aren't happy with you, right? Okay, so we'll move up. We'll try another emerald for, for more arrows here. I don't really need the arrows, but I do need the emeralds. So we'll uh, do some more trading. Good. And what's next? Oh, oh, you'll give me watermelon now. Okay, well, if I didn't have any melons, I would say that's okay to, to trade one emerald to get uh, five melon seeds out of the deal. But uh, I'm going to go back to the hay here. Oh, geez, I don't have enough. Okay, well, let's rush out where we got more hay. This will only take a minute. Because over here is where we keep our stockpile of hay out where the cows are. So we have more hay. That should be... Eh, let's grab it all. <laughs> I'm not actually feeding the cows, so... Not right now, at least. And I have lots of uh, my hay gardens here, my wheat gardens. Yeah, they say you're trading wheat, but it's actually hay that you're handing to them, right? They say it's wheat. That looks like hay to me, but I guess, you know, it's a debatable topic. Alright. So, we'll take that out, give you some more. And that's probably going to be the end, right? Oh, no, I got some more. Wow! So we're up to 35 emeralds now, and that's the limit. Okay, now what? Now... I have to trade for this in order to move up again. Well, let's try it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They're all doing the mm-hmm. Okay. So did we go up to something else? Oh, now you want to trade me for shears. Okay, well, let's do the hay trade. The wheat trade, that is. <clears throat> Still wants 20. Okay. It'd be nice if... Uh, Ooh, yeah. So we're up to 43. We need 60, because I need to get six eyes of ender... Oh, what happened there? Oh, that's weird. Okay. And then... No, no, no. I, as, as you know, you have to trade the last trade in order to get this one freed up. So that's three. And you only give me one. So, uh, now let's go try somebody else here now. We've got the lady that does the, the, uh, let's put all of this wheat back here for later. And we're going to grab all of our wool. we got more wool over where the sheep farm is, but, uh, uh, was it this lady? Yeah, this was the lady with the wool. So, we'll get three, six, nine. Oh. No, we didn't get the knight. Okay. So, that moves up, and now what do you want to trade with me? Oh, one for some chicken? Okay. We'll go one for some chicken. Could always use some more food, right? Oh, and you moved up. Oh, now you want to trade for cookies, too. Okay. Well, let's, uh, we'll get, uh, what we can get out of you first. Well, we're getting close to that 60 that we need. That's it. No more. So, I guess that means we have to go and trade for a cookie. And then we can uh, trade the rest of our our uh, wool with you, right? Yeah, you went up. Good. Oh, it's still 21. Okay. Now it's apples. Okay, well, you know, if I need to make golden apples and I can't find any, that'll be handy. 55. 
58. Ugh. 60. Hmm. And I don't have any more. I got the 60 that I need, though. But you know that that, that uh, priest is not going to give me six eyes of Ender in a row. So I'm probably going to have to do some other trading with her. So let's see if I can get a little bit more money out of the deal. Ooh, it's getting to be nighttime. Let's go sleep. And I'm going to grab a little bit more of the wheat. And uh, so I can uh, get just a few more emeralds for trading uh, with that priest. And then we'll go see that priest. Because once I have those eyes of Ender then uh, I'll be able to go open the end portal and we can do an episode of me going to the end and killing the dragon. Yay, that'll be kind of fun. Uh, I haven't killed the dragon for a long time in, a, in Minecraft. It's not the toughest thing to do, that's for sure. Oh, I didn't get them all back, eh? Okay, that's it, huh? Okay, now what? So I got 62 now and you want to trade what with me? Oh, th for the apples, okay. Well, that'll be worth it to get uh, those few more um, <coughs> emeralds out of the deal here. So what's the next thing? Oh, then you'll trade me for wheat. Hey, this would be nice if that was your last trade. <laughs> then we'd, get, we'd have a really good, good deal going here, right? So I'll trade you as much of this as I can. Oh, yes, we're moving up here. I don't know, maybe as they get happier, they'll do more trading with you. Okay, that's it. <laughs> okay. So if I go in, you don't want to trade with that anymore, but you'll trade me lots of wheat. Hey, so let's go do that. Uh, yeah, I got enough wheat left to do that. We can do some good stuff with that. Be, like I say, it'd be nice if that was the last trade, but I get the feeling I'm going to get stuck with a, a really tough trade in the end, so it'll be really tough to recycle back again. Oh, well, what is that, the end? No more? Okay. So that should make you uh, come back to the wool. Oh, jeez, and I probably won't have enough. Gee, <laughs> I'm doing better with this wool trading lady than I thought. Much better. Okay, let's grab more wool. Yeah, because I got tons of it here. And those sheep are going to keep giving me tons more, too. And you'll notice, I did this all over the place. I saw a B double O video where he did this. And he told me that one of his viewers told him to do this. And I tried it and I thought, hey, this is great. I don't even need a gate there. And no mob will pass through that. So that's great. So that's just, uh, that's just an ender fence pole put in there between these two fence poles. And because they won't connect, I still have a space to get through. But none of the mobs will go through it, which is kind of groovy. <laughs> Keep the mobs from moving through, but you can pass through without any, ob any obstacle there. So that's kind of nice. Oh, we're just getting these gems like cra or emeralds like crazy now, eh? Oh, okay, that's it. You're not happy anymore. Yeah, okay. Well, if we go up... Nah, wheat wasn't the last one. It's going to be these silly arrows again. Did we have arrows at the beginning? No, that was a different person. Well, we got 80... 85 gems now or emeralds now so i think that's enough to go see that other the other villager so let's put all this stuff back out of the way because we won't be needing it um yeah we'll put in the wheat first and then that and all this other stuff can go into my food storage so it can stay in my inventory and what we're gonna do now we got plenty of time left in the day i better bring a bed with me just in case though because if it becomes night, I don't want that other village to uh, withstand the night. Because I won't be able to stop the zombies from coming and killing them. Is what it really boils down to. Okay, so we'll put all this stuff away. Um, we'll get... Oh, grab a bed from here. Yeah, got a bed. And I might as well put my helmet on in case I run into some bad guys. And I think what we're going to do is we're going to grab Daisy here. 
Come on, Daisy, we're going for a run. Yeah, I know, you love to run. Okay, so here we go. Whoa, nice jump, Daisy. Right, so we go ripping off, and I didn't show you this yet, but you'll get to see it now, as I did, I blazed the trail through through the uh, jungle here. I got my machete out, and I started whoop, blazing a trail this way. Here we go. It looks like the vines keep growing, though. I'd have to go way up and trim them off the trees in order to stop them. Here, let's uh, make everything load. And we're off once again. So... Yeah, this is really tough getting through here with the horse. You got to do too much horse parkour. So I just uh, blaze the trail through here so I can just rip roar my way through. Oop, there you go. And then we end up out here where the village is. Yay. Now we just got to find that priest. And I, I as preliminary, I come back here and I took down every bit of cactus there was because, or at least around the village because I know the villagers are stupid enough to jump up onto a piece of cactus and die and I know my horse is, or I don't know any of the passive mobs are stupid enough to do something like that and once again I should have brought a lead so I could tie Daisy up but we'll just let her wander and I'll find her after oh whoop, whoop. look at these guys they just go zinging okay little priest we need to trade with you so can we get Six eyes, just like that, eh? All right, that's exactly what I needed. Oh, and you'll trade even more with me, eh? Oh, you want to give me protection to iron. I don't know if I'm interested in that. Okay, so that's all I really needed. So these are all extra emeralds that I can trade with them for other stuff later. And, you know, it'd be really nice if I had just uh, an endless supply of emeralds because... Uh, the, the whole idea there is uh, to be able to make emerald blocks, to, especially in the Missa texture pack, because the emerald blocks in the Missa pack are really nifty. Maybe I'll make one just to show you as I'm ending the episode here. So we're going to go rip roaring back. Come on, load. We'll rip roar back. This is good. We managed to do this before nightfall could come. And. We got some good trading with the villagers. So I think in my next episode, I know uh, we did the amplified thing. I went out and explored and haven't does, done anything there. But here the whole idea, because you saw how much fun it was trying to get around that amplified area. If you were watching my episodes on it. And the real, only real good way to go to the amplified biome is with ender pearls. And in order to have ender pearls, you need to have killed tons of endermen. And uh, I've killed lots of endermen around here, but obviously not enough. Because you can see, all I've got is these six ender pearls. And I don't even have enough to... I should have probably did a mother trade to get some uh, uh, enough to make an ender chest or something. I'm going to need three of these. Yeah. Yeah, since I made the blaze farm, <laughs> uh, blaze rods are not an issue. It doesn't look like I have a lot, but every chest is full. I mean, every every furnace is full, and I prefer to use these for for uh, smelting because you get twelve smeltings out of a single rod. And I know, yeah, the uh, the blocks of coal you'll get. Uh, I think what did they say? Eighty smeltings out of a block, but. You, there's nothing that stacks to 80 so <laughs> yeah uh, it might be nice if I was you know doing some kind of automated uh, uh, furnace system then it would be good but I don't have something like that yet and the whole reason why is because you don't get any experience when you have automated smelting but everything I pull out of of here gives me experience so that's why I do that Okay, well, I think we got just a few minutes left in this episode. Let's put these uh, Eyes of Ender away, because we're going to need them later. And you can see here, just from when I was building the Blaze Farm out, out in the Nether, I had killed enough Wither Skeletons that I was very lucky and two Skulls had been dropped. And 
I will eventually create a farm out in the nether so that I can fight them more and get more of these skulls so I can eventually, you know, go kill the wither, make uh, the beacon, etc. like that. Oh, we don't need this bed anymore either. So we can put that away. And I wanted to just quickly show you uh, me doing this. So here I've got all these sharpness books. So I'm going to do some combining of sharpness books here because I have tons of levels. I got 44 levels and that was from using the blaze farm. So you can see you can take two sharpness one books that were very easy to come by and it costs you a whopping two levels to combine them into a sharpness two book. So I can do that some more and get another sharpness two book. And then take these two sharpness two books and combine them for a cost of five levels now to a sharpness three book. And I might as well combine these two as well just to reduce the inventory space they take up. And here I have uh, some other random stuff. Here's a sh oh, here's a sharp. Oh, this is perfect. I wonder if I got enough levels. <laughs> okay, I don't need this sharpness two, but well, okay, now. So we can take a sharpness three and another sharpness three, and that's gonna only cost five once again to turn into sharpness four. And lucky me, I got two sharpness four books now. <laughs> so I put them together for a cost of seven, I can have a sharpness five book now. So you can see, um, if you're really desperate to get a high level enchantment instead of wasting your diamonds enchanting an item over and over again in hopes of getting something you want and instead of wasting your levels doing level 30 enchantments on books it's much more uh, economical in levels just to make the books the first level and start combining them so here I've got some protection books I can combine but I don't have four so, I'll eventually, oh, there's a Power 4 book. If I had another Power 4 book, I could make a Power 5 book out of it. And you can see, yeah, I really luckily got a Luck of the Sea. And I'm going to add that to a fishing pool eventually so I can do some fishing. So, yeah, you can see uh, uh, right now I've got this Sharpness 4. Now, I could have taken my... A sharpness 4 book and combined it with this but I didn't really want to do that uh, I, I wanted to have an actual sharpness 5 to uh, put onto a new sword that has never been repaired and name that sword so that I get the cheapest repair possible from then on but that's about it so I hope you enjoyed watching this episode of me trading with the villagers and combining those books. Thanks for coming by. Everybody take care. And until next time, this is Neofiz signing out.